Um, they uh, they went by uh, the senior national ranking, so of the whoever's still in uh, university, who's ever still eligible, uh, just the in normal international selection ranking that we have. Mm -hmm. It's based on results um, for so World Cups for the most part, and as well as the, the larger Canadian competitions. Mm -hmm. So that's where they chose us from. For me, I've done uh, uh, World Championships at Cadet, so under 17, under 20, uh, and I've been to numerous World Cups and uh, Pan Am Championships. Uh, I've done two Junior World Championships, as well as one Senior World Championships. Uh, Commonwealth Championships and two university games now as well as probably like six seasons of World Cups. Well, um, as far as fencing is concerned, right, it's a combat sport, so um, it's fairly important for us to do a lot of sparring, and since we train at the same club, we do do a lot of training together. Um, there's always the individual stuff, you know, whatever strength training you do or cardio, or in our case, individual lessons. I know John's taking lessons from a different coach than I am, and uh, with Kier, we worked with him during the year but he's off in Kingston now for the summer, so he's taking lessons from his original coach there and working with the people there. I, f I feel pretty good, especially in team. I think we have a good team, and we've been able to uh, have some results where we would surprise some teams, that even that are certainly stronger than us, and Mark Andre and I have both uh, like been on the same team uh, representing Canada doing that. Like last year, we were together and we beat the States. So we were ranked number one at the time. Anything can happen. Yeah, I mean, our team overall is fairly young. Like for us, we've been like I've, I've done this before. John, this is his first time. Most of the other athletes that will be there for fencing are fairly new. Um, in Kier's case, this is his first, I think, senior World Cup or senior World event, really. Probably, yeah. Outside of Montreal yeah. um, or Vancouver, and uh, I mean, it'll be nice to have a lot of people around and uh, just. In my case, it's, it's another one, and hopefully it can go better than the last ones. Like Each time I've done progressively better. My, my biggest fencing role model is um, probably Fabrice Janet, who's a French fencer, a guy who's probably bigger than John, and uh, just had the smoothest footwork you've ever seen. And um, the way he moves and the way he fences is really what I would aspire to fence like one day. Uh, guys like Mark, I, I'm a little bit younger than Mark. I always watched Mark Andre's uh, hard work, and uh, so I, I modeled myself against uh, Mark and other guys at the club, just in terms of maybe not style, but at least in terms of the uh, hard work. Um, I think it's just business as usual for me in the next year or so. I just want to work on my technique and uh, become physically stronger, mentally stronger, and uh, worry about you know whatever comes, Olympics, World Championships after that. But I'm not going to change too much, I don't think. Uh, for me, this is coming, like I guess, right before what could be a pretty big change, um, because I might be spending the next few years training in China, um, moving there full time. So this could be the beginning of a very different era, and uh, a bit like John, you know, working towards the ultimate goal of just becoming the best fencer I can. Uh, it's 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 an amazing feeling being able to go to like the opening ceremonies and wave your flag and cheer with hundreds of other Canadian athletes that are around is just. A, a, it's an awe-inspiring experience. This is the best way of putting it. I've never been to FISU before, but I certainly and I, I really enjoyed World Cups. I think it, representing your country is awesome, and just seeing all the other people from different countries is pretty amazing. I'm sure FISU is just going to be even more like that. Um, being a multi-sport event, it's basically like a little mini Olympics. Um, it's basically equivalent to most World Cups and World Championships. A lot of the uh, the university teams are composed of guys who are on the national team. Um, so it's going to be fairly intense.